Hi, this is David Andrew Weeb with The Music Entrepreneur, and today I want to show you how to boost a post in Facebook. This is something you might want to do if you have a post that's already doing well and getting a lot of attention and get it out to more people. And the reason why you'd want to pick a post that's already doing well is because it has a fair amount of traction already. So you know that if it already has likes, comments, engagement, clicks, and so forth, that if you boost it, it's only going to amplify the results. Meanwhile, if you boost a post that's not doing quite as well, well, you're not going to get as good of results. So let's take a look. There's a couple of things you're going to need to do this. Right now we're looking at my Facebook page at facebook.com slash docast. But when you're ready to launch your own campaign, you want to go to your own band, musician, or artist page at facebook.com slash your band name, for example. So you're going to need a page. You're going to need a certain number of likes. Hopefully you have over 100 likes at this point. Otherwise, your posts probably aren't reaching anybody, and Facebook may not even give you the option of boosting your posts. Next thing you're going to need, hopefully you've populated your page with a few posts already, maybe somewhere in the range of 10 to 20, because otherwise we're going to have a hard time comparing which of your posts have done well over others. Facebook's actually really good about tracking data and insights on your behalf. But a very simple way to find the number of people that has reached is just to look at the posts. So if I scroll down, I can see that this post reached nine people. This one, it was 27, 36 for this one, eight for this one, nine for this one, and so on. Now I do have some higher performing posts in my archives too. And you can see that I've already boosted this one for $24. So for the next 24 days, this post will be boosted for a dollar a day. But let's say for example, that I wanted to boost this post, which is, are you hustling and grinding in your music career? Five warning signs of burnout. I know there's a typo there, I actually corrected it already. So we'll click on boost post. And that's going to open a new window for you. The first thing we need to take a look at is audience. So this is just who you're targeting. Do you want to target people who like your page? People who like your page and their friends? Default audience? David Andrew Weeb, which in this case is me? And look alike, which would be people like the people who already like your page and Facebook figures that out based on what interests they already have. Now, two of my favorite options are people who like your page and their friends. So you get some immediate engagement from people who have already demonstrated interest in your page as well as their friends. So you're getting out to more people that probably haven't heard of you or don't know about you. Then the other option that I like is the lookalike audience, which is primarily targeting people that probably haven't seen your page, but people like the audience that you already have. So based on the likes and your overall following, Facebook will find people like them and put your ad in front of those people. So that's why I like those two options. Now we're ready to scroll down to budget and duration. First, I suggest looking at duration. So how long do you want the ad to run for? Obviously, the more you spend and the more days or the longer the ad is running for, the more exposure you're going to get. By default, you can choose one day, which isn't going to do much for you, seven days or 14 days. You can also choose to run that ad until a specific date. So the other post that I already boosted, I am having it run till September 30th for example, so that's 24 days from now. Now we also have to adjust the budget based on your duration. That's why I suggest picking how long you want the ad to go for first. Facebook only allows you to spend no less than a dollar per day. So that means that if your post is running for 14 days, you'd have to set the budget for $14. Now you can spend more if you want to and have the limit set to this or have the duration set to the same amount. So you could, for example, make your budget a hundred dollars and then run the ad for the same amount of time, 14 days, 
let's take a look because that's going to change the number of people that we reach. So if I enter $100 in there, it goes from about 4000 minimum to 7200 minimum. But we're going to leave it at $14 for now. So the estimated people reached based on the duration as well as the budget of the ad is 4300 to 11,000 people, which sounds like a lot, but running ads won't guarantee you an audience and it's not going to propel you to stardom overnight. It will help you get more exposure for your post, more clicks, and if you're amplifying a blog post like I am, the benefit there is that people will sign up for email list and you'll be able to grow your email list by boosting your posts. Now, if you scroll down, there are a couple more options for you to adjust. There's the tracking conversions by choosing a pixel. That's a little more advanced, so we're not really gonna get into that. And then you would just enter your payment information below that. I already have a credit card stored in there, but I'm not gonna show you that. All right, so once you have that all set up, you would just simply click boost, and then Facebook would approve your ad or not approve it depending on the content. But most of the time, a post that's already on your page is easy to boost and you probably won't find a lot of problems with it. And that's it. So once you're ready to boost, just click on that boost button and away you go.